Alright everyone, it's Maseku again. My hat is my uh, way to rebel against the snow we just got. How ridiculous is that, that we just got snow again. And a whole lot of snow. I hate it. It's April. I want to be nice weather, go swimming and shit, you know, get nice and tan. Anyways, it's an ocarina video. This is my next attempt. I'm going to try making a bigger one today. Why is my plate playing tool? Just some of your standard picture wire with uh, two keyrings on the end. Yay, maybe a little bit of that. That would be pretty good one today. I'm going to use cardboard, more than half of what clay I have left. I don't even know if I can get any more. <laughs> Cut in half the same way you saw me cut off the uh, chunk of clay off the main slab. Now that I've got it cut open, I've been hollowing it out, as you can see. Like anyone else, well on the internet, <laughs> just keep scraping out the inside till you've got a decent. You don't want it too thick, and you don't want it too thin wall. At least, I don't, and that's how I'm doing it. <clears throat> and I've just been hollowing it out, and I'll move on to the next one soon, because this one's still whole. Hollow them both out, and as soon as I'm putting them back together, I'll show you again. Okay, I got a little ahead of myself, and I'm sorry I didn't show you me putting the two together, but I've gotten both hollowed out now, and I'm just applying some coils. Yeah, what's in here? Okay, cut this out hole. Made my uh, mouthpiece looking pretty shitty right now, but I'll fix that soon enough. Now it's just time to attach the two and cut the uh, fiffle out properly. I'd already started the fiffle sharp edge, but stupidly I forgot to make the extra notch. I have the window, now I have to make the... Well, okay. I don't remember the proper turn, but I gotta make the smaller little cut and then sharpen that up. And then attach the two. Okay, it's forever later. It took me quite a long time to get the uh, triple hole just right. <clears throat> uh, I don't know exactly what my mistake was, but it just seemed like I wasn't making the hole big enough. I had to cut the window in a little bit further. And uh, we're just hard getting the positioning properly this time around, more than even usual, but at the same time, I could just be trying higher to avoid getting those really high squeaky notes. I'm worried with having such a larger ocarina how my airiness problem is going to work out, especially being as low as it is. I also put the extra chunk of clay on there to add a little bit more stability to the mouthpiece, and could have been meaning to put some kind of a neck strap place. So I'll just be putting a small hole right through there. And just as a sound sample right now. Okay, so here's the ocarina done other than tuning. Great, I think it looks pretty nice. That's pretty mellow, wicked tone. I think it sounds like it's a B, but I could be wrong, so I'll have to obviously check it out. Alright, I got my uh, Ocarina back from being fired, number 6, and I'm just smoothing you know, out some of the little rough edges. That's basically what I'm doing, is just filing off or tapering off some uh, kind of rough spots just to give it a nice smoother finish. Sounds pretty good. Still not perfect.
I think tuning might be just slightly off. And the higher notes are harder to play. It takes a little bit more controlled breath pressure to get those highest notes just right. See what I mean? It's a little bit difficult to work on that, but I guess it's just a matter of um, getting the feel for this specific ocarina. But, yeah, it looks pretty great. I think once I uh, get it painted up, it'll look amazing. Okay, so it's been months since I started this video. I worked on it, didn't get to it, and it sat forever. But so I finally got around to doing everything I needed to do to get it done. It's, uh, painted, glazed, and it sounds pretty decent. I haven't had too much time practicing on it, so I'm still a little bit rusty, and uh, I don't know if you can tell, I'm sick. But even being months later, there's no snow, it's nice out, still wearing the hat just because I started with it, finished with it. Okay, so here it is done. Painted up. I went with the, you know, Zelda Blue 50 as I figure this is one of the best ones I've done so far and probably closest to the shape. And I went with a gold to fill in the holes and fill in my name on the date. Take go. 0409. Finally put a neck strap hole in it. Kept forgetting to do with all the other ones, but here it is, it's done. Holds nice. Good. I'm gonna do a better cord. It's just cheap regular string. I'm gonna actually end up making a better one or getting the wife to make one because she's good at that kind of thing. And yeah, so that's how she looks. Oh, I guess I should show you. a nice clear coat on there so it's good and shiny and durable. Back it against something and it won't even chip. Sounds pretty nice. Just I guess get back to me and let me know what you guys think. Great, comment and all the rest. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you do that. As I'll be making some more nice ocarinas. Eventually once I have them perfect, hopefully sell a couple. Get my name out there and uh well, keep working on making better music. I feel like all you other guys out there playing the ocarina are uh starting to pass me a little bit in skill, so I'm gonna have to start practicing more to keep up. Thanks, thank you guys.